So I'm flattening uh, this uh, 15 inch uh, board here. <clears throat> I've got two of them that are uh, book matched that are going to become the top. And of course I'm doing it manually uh, because I need a, a wider uh, joiner. I got a 12 inch um, joiner. So I'll flatten one side and then uh, flatten the other side uh, with the uh, wide belt drum sander and we'll get two flat sides then. Well I've started to uh, cut the pieces that needed after uh, putting the mortises. So we have the mortises on. This is a back leg. And um, they're three-eighths of an inch uh, wide. So I uh, glued up a couple of pieces of pine for the back. And um, these are the sides. We have two sides, of course. So they're uh, about 15 and a half inches wide by uh, 15 and a half tall. And um, the apron, you can see the pattern on there, and then the uh, front rails, the drawer rails. This is the top piece that'll be uh, dovetailed. So um, after cutting all those pieces to size, then I uh, used a dado set uh, to put a one inch tenon uh, all the way across the, uh, the pieces that needed it like so. Then I'll take my story stick here which has the uh, where the mortises are at mark them out on the pieces then I've got to cut out the uh, material in between leaving the the two and a half inch two and a quarter inch uh, tenons all across the sides the front uh, I'm sorry the back the, the front ones are uh, just small. The apron needs to be uh, trimmed a little bit, like so with the story stick. So that's the next step, is to saw off the, the corners. So I've got the apron and the uh, drawer divider um, installed here and fitted to between the two front legs. And um, I cut a dovetail, a one inch uh, long uh, dovetail tenon that goes here between the, and it becomes the top door, drawer divider, like so. And then it's a matter of uh, using my uh, marking knife to uh, mark the, the edges along here. And then uh, I'll saw this uh, and chop it out like any uh, half blind dovetail. And then this uh, top divider will be all set. So that's the next thing to do here. Well, I've uh, dry fitted the case now so the um, tenons and mortise and tenons are here in the side of course in the front but nothing has been cut out yet i still have to cut out the apron of course uh, uh, the feet uh, need to be finished etc etc but uh, this is just to make sure that the joinery 
is correct and uh, it looks pretty good it's sitting level and uh, of course we're gonna have to take it apart to um, work on it some more there's three drawers here so we've got some small dividers drawer dividers uh, to put in here and this drawer center drawer here is larger so this has to be cut out down here this drawer um, is this size uh, runners have to go in here uh, all along here so we have mortises to put in the back the mortises in the back of um, these thing here so there's uh, quite a bit of work yet to do but uh, it's good to get the case uh, fitted